Why worry? That's going to be the subject of this video. Why worry? You know, years ago, uh, one of the guys that helped me make a lot of money, his name was James Tolleson. And he used to always say, he was a multi, multi-millionaire, and, and um, I, I used to listen to his audio programs, and he would just say, you can pay somebody minimum wage, put them in a room, and just tell them to worry. That's their job. Just worry. And in other words, it takes no special skills or ability to sit around worrying about this and worrying about that, worrying about this. Look, in business, things are always going wrong, okay, or not the way you want them to go. You say they're, they're not, they don't, they, things don't work out the way you want them to work out quite often. And oftentimes, the biggest problems that you run into are the ones you never anticipate. You get blindsided, constantly get blindsided. So you try to weigh it all out. You try to think it all through. You try to solve all the problems you can. And then, boom, you get blindsided by something you didn't even think about. So it takes no special skills or abilities to worry. And just move forward and expect problems to happen. And um, anyway, I, I had an association for decades with a guy that uh, was very smart. And he should have been an entrepreneur. And I used to tell him that all the time. I'd say, Randy, you really should be an entrepreneur. He had all the qualities that it takes to be an entrepreneur. Very stubborn, wanted to do everything his way. Smart guy. That need for independence and freedom. And, and yet he would always say, I'm too chicken. The bottom line is he was too smart for his own good. He knew all the things that could go wrong, and he was constantly focused on that. Look, somebody like me, I'm not that smart. I'll just, you know, we, a smart person will sit around all night worrying about something that somebody that's not so smart just moving forward and making it happen. And that's what you need. If you're a really smart person, don't focus on everything that can go wrong or whatever. And now I would say that on one hand, you don't want to worry. On the other hand, don't put all your eggs in one basket. There is that concept, hey, I just put all my eggs in one basket and I watch that basket carefully. A better approach is to always have a few projects on the back burner. So if one thing goes wrong, you can have a few other things to support it. Uh, I was just involved with this uh, opportunity for four years that is no longer now. And, uh, the, you know, all of the people that I was involved with this project on, some of them, that was the only thing that they had going for them. And so when this project failed, now they have nothing. They have to start all over again from scratch. You don't want that to happen. Always have more projects going on so that in case one thing goes wrong with one, you can back it up with something else. And why worrying doesn't mean you shouldn't think about what can go wrong. You should. You should. But you should put your focus on what's going to go right. And just have enough confidence to move forward, solve the problems as you, as you, as they arise, and and um, don't just sit around. Worrying takes no special skills or abilities. Anybody can do that. Look at the words from uh, from my mentor many years ago. You can pay somebody minimum wage and they can worry. Worrying takes no special skills. What takes special skills and abilities is moving forward and confidence and faith and. And doing things at a big scale where, where you're, you're really trying to make things happen. That's what takes the skills. So hope something here has helped you. And thank you very much for listening. If you're one of my clients, I greatly appreciate you. If you're not one of my clients but you want to know how I can help you make more money, click on the link below. And bye for now.